Well, good morning. Welcome everyone to Adventures of Boss and Molly. I suppose this will be episode one, introductory. There goes Molly there. Um, let's get to know Boss and Molly and where they live. Take a little extra sip of my coffee. Just starting my morning here out. A little coffee, a little bread of life, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a beautiful day. So anyway, welcome friends, family, Facebook users, YouTube viewers, and all the rest of our brothers and sisters around the world. This is Molly. She's Catahoula and probably Australian Shepherd mix. I don't think she's full blood of either. And this is Boss. He is definitely a mixed breed. Pitbull and Bunny Rabbit. Ain't that right, Boss? Yeah. He is your typical example of how a well-raised um, pit bull breed dog should act when raised properly with love and good treatment. That right, boss. What a good boy. Molly, what do you have? Oh, no. You don't need the horse apple. Okay? Okay, hey, we're supposed to be um, introducing the Broken Horn Zoo. Baby, I really, really, really wish you could have that, okay? Can I have that? Thank you. Just get rid of this morsel real quick. Comes out of the Bodark tree. This Bodark tree is awesome. It is 10 degrees cooler under this tree at any given time because the wind comes down through these branches and cools itself and yeah, it's really nice under here right now. It's probably about 82, nah, maybe 80. So yeah, let's start at the front of the Broken Horn Zoo. Call it the Broken Horn Zoo. Well, you'll see why when we get to the front. My uh, my stepdad calls it, this is his property by the way, my stepdad calls it um, Broken Horn Ranch, but I call it a zoo because we don't have any livestock, but we do have plenty of critters. Um, as you see, we have dogs. There's Molly. Come on, boss. And we have squirrels where we keep feeders out for them, birds, as you can see the bird feeder there, looks like it is getting low as you can see also boss likes to swim in the pond Molly does too but she doesn't get out there like boss does this pond here is about to dry up uh, it's just the time of year that it does we got three ponds here uh, one here in the front air quote yard and uh, we got one back there behind there's also one back over there on the other side of that small hill and there she goes I guess we'll take time to focus on our stars and get to know the lay of the land Broken Horn Zoo where Boss and Molly have their adventures Boss is my mother's dog he is a stray like all the rest of the dogs here he's been with her for about five or six years Molly is my dog she came that's been in the river hey we're trying to film do you mind okay Molly's my dog she's been with us for about three maybe four months she was a stray as well uh, as it turns out this is really good for boss because Ben and River are the backyardigans um, because they don't stay put, so they stay in the backyard. Uh, <laughs> they're really having a good time. Molly's really active. But as it turns out, that was really good for Boss because Ben and River were always kind of buddies, and Boss was kind of just the front yard. Uh, Kind of lone wolf per se, didn't really have a friend, but since Molly came along, it turned out to be a really good relationship and good for both of them. Uh, 
I don't know how long Molly was astray, but you could tell she had had a hard time. She's gained about 15 pounds since she's been here. She's looking really good. Are you feeling good too, Molly? Come on, let's go up to the front, guys. Looks like UPS has been here. Us may not come. That's okay. Molly will lead the way. I hope the sound isn't too poor. You're not catching too much of the wind, the breeze we've hit, we have here this morning feels really nice. I guess it's about uh, 10 a.m. here in the flat land of Texas. Molly girl. Yeah, UPS has been here. Uh, we'll get that in a minute. Molly, let's get a close up of Molly. Come here, Molly. Say hello. Oh, Molly. She has a typical eye for her breed. The one cloudy eye, bluish eye. She's really pretty. that bandana on her because I want she has tags but I want people to know she likes to wander we live on about 10 acres here on the Broken Horn Zoo and she lives on about 20 so yeah and people around here have livestock and I just want them to know that she's not just uh, I don't know if she gets near their livestock or anything I don't want her to get hurt in any way so I want them to know she has a home and an owner and that she just wants to play Come on, Molly. She's always good about coming back. She will stay gone for 30, 45 minutes at a time, which I don't like, but that's her nature and that's her exercise and that's what she likes to do. So I let her. And praise the Lord, she always comes back in one piece because I love her so. And Boss, he's pretty fond of her too. Ain't that right, Boss? Boss, come get your close up, boy. Let's go in the shade. Go under here. Yeah, got plenty of trees on the property. I see some people's property, they don't have any trees, and I, can, I don't understand why they've cut all their trees down, but whatever. Uh, just over here, up this small hill, like I said before, there's the other pond. Boss and Molly like to go back here. There's a lot of wild cats that live around this pond. Uh, they get fed up there in the garage. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. The garage over there, we keep feeders and water out for them because we don't like mice, so we let the ferals feel welcome. And back in there is a pond. It's probably the less visited pond on the property. <laughs> Come on, Molly. Come on, girly. All right, let's continue back. Over there is where I make all my bonfires, burn all the debris that falls. Uh, we get uh, pretty big limbs that fall. Trees get old and dry. The droughts we have, we get burn bans frequently. We haven't had one yet this year, I'm surprised. Uh, we got a creek that runs through here. Um, <laughs> when we do get good rain, this creek will come all the way up to the back of the shed in our backyard. And that's pretty wide, as we may continue to see here shortly. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back here to the back pond. It's a spring-fed pond. Uh, Molly really likes this pond. She, it's probably her favorite. It looks like we're going to pick that up in part two. Got about 30 seconds left here on this 10 minute feed, and I think I'm going to keep them down to about 10 minutes. Molly knows where we're going, so she's well on her way. Ben and River are making noise because they're jealous, and Boss is over there taunting them. Come on, Boss! I just had a a locust jump into my sandal.